Hello. Hi, Donnie. Hi. You want to say hi? Uh, uh, hi. Uh, 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 hi. Hi. Welcome to People of the Internet. Welcome to episode two, Donnie. How you feel? How you feel? Welcome. It's it's the big one. It's, it's the it's big one. It's the number other guy two. Now. <laughs> it's the other guy. The other guy <laughs> who owns it's, the account. It's Woo! the other guy. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Big one. Big wild one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. That's first funny. things first. Yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Swapped or uh, Donnie or the other guy. If this, Depending if on what you, Doug you want or to Hells say. refers, I I know I'll refer you to that. Yeah. The other guy oh. is how you refer to me. <laughs> yeah. Whenever like. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, that is also how I refer to you. Someone joins stream and is like, hey, uh, are you doing a sleep stream? I'm like, no. <laughs> That's, That's the, the other, other guy. <laughs> uh, and whenever I stream, hey, why is this stream so crappy and like, just bad? <laughs> oh. That's because uh, the good streams are when the other guy streams. <laughs> yeah, like, I've put together, like, stream playlists for us. I've done so much shit. But like, yeah, I just go hit live, or like, I just hit go live. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's funny, it's funny. I'm gonna lower your audio a bit on my end, because you're peeking, but that's fine. That's fine, a bit okay. of scuff at the start. So, this, I'm gonna title this episode, Episode Zero. Uh, People of the Internet, Episode Two, Episode Zero. Because, like, this podcast has been in the works for God knows how long now. For however long me, you, and Cal have been talking about it, right? And, yeah. uh, fuck. It just, we never got around to doing it. It never worked out. Our schedules never aligned. So I just said, fuck you guys, and <laughs> recorded an episode. <laughs> um, but I realized in that first episode, I did not introduce myself or, like, anything relating. I just broke a gift card or anything relating to like who this channel is what we are what the podcast is so that's kind of what this episode is it's like hey yeah this is what the podcast is this is technically or should be episode zero i fixed a few things that i learned from the nemo stream as or nemo podcast as well and made it better for this one so donnie how's it feel you get to be in a higher budget podcast yeah. yeah yeah it's great yeah not really it shouldn't it's pretty, be it's pretty it's pretty good <laughs> all right so as i said since we're going to be talking about well who we are uh i am as well i'm craig doug hell's maximum whatever the fuck people want to call me nowadays because the, the other guy the other guy um i have been doing streaming and a lot of content creation for what five years now as long as i've had no before i had my laptop um because i did it on ps4 back in the day and then i got my laptop i think half a year or a year into me streaming and it was like 2018 or something yeah, like that. when i turned 16 i got my laptop and that's when we really became friends um yep. Because before I remember that, watching... I was just a console scrub. Oh, Walrus is now playing Aceta Corsa. Great. <laughs> Your interruption. I'll fix that next time. Probably not, because I'm fucking lazy. Um... Yeah, I remember watching one of your streams when you were on PS4, and I just had this giant bag of goldfish that my grandma got me. So. Oh, yeah, the fucking goldfish. And then I remember one. saying that in the chat. You're like, can I have some? I'm like, I emptied it. <laughs> i had that whole bag in one sitting it was uh, not healthy yeah and how's it feel now the kind of things turned around and five years later we're both out of high school and i am a deadbeat and have forced you to stream a few times how's it feel yeah, now that you know now how to stream? five pound bags of sour patch kids we've changed we've changed times have changed indeed times have changed indeed yeah, so, I should order another one. Honestly, we should both just order another, like, five pounds of candy. That would be fun. Like, I want I want candy. 
I want I want the big candy. My stomach says no, but you know what? It, it's my five pounds of candy. How can you say no to that? My body, my body's telling me yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. So to get us started, should we probably? I think you mentioned this when you were like, hey, uh, for my podcast, we should talk about this. Let's talk about where Dank Kitchen Adventures comes from, even. Because it's such a oh, weird name. It's a great story. It is. In my it mind, is. it is. Um, well, it all happened in, like, what, grade 10 food so class? So it happened when you at joined. At least. When you joined, or when you came to our high school, which was... Grade 9, grade 10, one of the two. Yeah. Uh, I know I was in a foods class in grade 9, but I don't know if you were there. I think it was just with Maybe Carter not. and Piers. Maybe I not. I don't think you were there. So I was I'm in, thinking, like, a I'm, lot of food classes, though. I'm thinking it was, that's what, like, it was in grade 10 when we first started it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... And at first, it was just, like, a little joke. It's like, hey, yeah, I I made funny name for, like, instead of a yellow kitchen, it's, yeah, we're Dank Kitchen Adventures, haha. Uh-huh. And I wrote it on the whiteboard, and then uh teacher is like, no, take it down. I'm like, oh. So I guess and I then, should yeah, just... classify a bit more there. So what happened is our foods class in high school, it was the easiest way to get credits, right? And everyone wanted to do it, not for the credits, but because you got to eat the free food. We live in a really rural fucking town that apparently starves children. I don't know. Food was like gold. Foods class was the best class you could get into because it was the only class that wasn't boring. It was. Yeah. Um, so I started doing foods in grade seven before I even met you. And I was, there was four yep. kitchens. There was one all the way on the left, which was my kitchen or yellow kitchen. Then I think there was like green, blue, and red or something. And yeah, each so. kitchen was colored because the, every single thing had like a paint dot on it. So you didn't lose things. Everyone still lost everything and everything wasn't organized, whatever. But I was always in yellow kitchen. And it was like me, Mason, and I think Nick or something like that. Yeah, and uh just some random people but i was always in that kitchen i did foods for i think i think it was like it was something ridiculous it was like a solid i think i only missed one year it might have been only been grade nine because every year i did a foods class unless i wasn't let to but I would like somehow sneak my way around to getting in anyways. Because it was just the most fun. (laughs) It's a good class. Like, (laughs) yeah, you get free food. Yeah. But then I think it was like, by the time uh, we got to high school and credits mattered and all that, uh, they don't really care what class you take. They just care that you have credits. So I took foods. I made you take foods and we just got the same thing we were never in like any other class together basically because fucking we i think we're in like physics and that was about it besides foods yeah (laughs) but like besides that we were just menaces i don't even know how to phrase it any other way besides just we were menaces in that kitchen we did so much random shit a lot yeah, of we the were videos hated. oh yeah easily <laughs> easily <laughs> like... the worst class um what makes it better is the teachers never graded you either we like we graded ourselves based off of what we thought the food yeah, tasted like self-evaluation or whatever uh, i think yeah we, we got, always gave each got other like paper. 80s yeah we got this paper it's like how do you how do you rate the like uh did you follow the recipe did you uh like did it come out okay did it taste good all that stuff it's like i don't know i didn't i didn't really like i don't think you ever ate it it's foods yeah i don't think i think the way it worked is i was one of it was me and some whoever was the extra because we had four people in our kitchen all the time it was me and you and then like 
Mason and Nick normally, I think. I think that was normally our kitchen. Mason and Nick would never yeah. really do anything. Me and you would just fuck around. Mason and... would do the dishes. Yeah. We'd like... like... <laughs> I'd remember as well, now that I'm thinking about it, our class was... Everyone would, like, make normal things for foods. They'd be like, hey, I'm going to make a pizza, or I'm going to make a cake, or cookies, or whatever. Like, some basic shit. And then there was me and you, and we spent, like, multiple hours researching Viking food. And, like, very Nordic yeah. food. Only to make rainbow bread. Yeah. Like, yep. it was the dumbest shit. I'm pretty sure our... Uh, remember that food truck? Pretty sure it's still up there. I, I could ask so. my sister... I, guess, I hope the I banana noodle food truck is there. If, if it's up there. Oh, banana. I kind of want it, honestly. Like I know. I kind of like want a... it. It's like memorabilia. Yeah. It's important. The, both the poster and that. History. It was I, so dumb. I don't know if I don't know if the post oh, the poster might still be up. I don't know. They wouldn't have taken down the food truck without taking down the poster. I yeah, think some, some of our recipes are up there still too, like the Nanaimo bars and shit. Oh, that that recipe is great. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. holy shit! Uh, but we made some like we made we made some cursed shit. There's a there's an early video on on the channel, and it's a really stupid, really badly edited video of uh Doug. Like it was it's Instagram video on doug's instagram yeah and it's not but even it up there anymore it's deleted it was recorded on like i screen recorded it on my computer so it was the website version of instagram which is even more cursed yeah, because fuck. like i think back then instagram just like you couldn't do anything on the web like on a website like a browser version mm -hmm. except for just look at posts I don't think you could do anything else. So, yeah, I recorded it. I put, like, white, like, I don't even know if, how I edited it. But I put white blocks over the comments, over your at, basically everything. It was just the video and then, like, some background stuff that cursed. you could see. It was and, so cursed. Yeah, we made a giant calzone or pizza pop. We didn't know it was a fucking calzone. I think I knew it was a calzone. I knew it had a name. But, like, we were making a pizza. I remember this day pretty vividly. We were making a pizza, and I kept wanting to be like, hey, I'm going to fold the pizza in half. Let's just fucking fold the pizza in half. Let's fuck around. Let's make a pizza pot. And, like, no one wanted to. Everyone was like, no, we're going to stick to the recipe. Like, we're not doing this. Everyone walks away to the table because you have to wait, like, an hour for it to cook. So everyone just plays computer games for an hour, which is why people love foods. But, like... I was like, fuck that. Everyone went away, and I, like, took it out of the oven, folded it in half, and put it back in without anyone noticing. Yeah, that's probably one of the greatest decisions ever, because it was legendary. It was actually, like, it wasn't turned it out well. fully cooked? Like, yeah, it was pretty it good. fully cooked. It wasn't... Yeah. For, like, a way to not make a calzone, it turned out amazing. Like, in the dumbest way possible, because it shouldn't yeah, have worked. Every everyone else has their pizzas and here we are giant ass calzones the teacher's just looking at us like why what have you done <laughs> like what <laughs> why are you doing this yeah it was uh it was pretty pretty fucking dumb and then we ran around the whole school giving it away and all that yeah Fuck, remember uh we yeah. made we made like breadsticks or whatever Mm -hmm. and then we went to that one class and then like you gave the bread no it wasn't breadsticks it was uh a baguette because we were like making bread yeah. that day yeah. so i'm we made a baguette turned out like garbage because you have to let the dough rise for an x amount of time and you don't have that amount of time in a foods class so you let it rise for like four days and then it's just garbage that's what happened to the rainbow bread um yep. but we let it we cooked it. I think we overcooked it. And so we didn't want to finish it because it was just a baguette. It was just bread. And we were walking around the school with a loaf of bread, hard like brick of bread. And so I think on the plate we had, all the breadcrumbs fell off. And we only had like a fraction, like a tiny sliver of the baguette left. And this kid walks up and is like, hey, I want this 
baguette. And so I say, you know what? Sure, I'll give you the baguette. If you snort the breadcrumbs first, guess what the kid did? Fucking snorted the bet and snorted all the breadcrumbs. And <laughs> I just, I remember the teacher looking at us being like, why? Why'd you make a kid snort breadcrumbs? And I look at her yeah. back, stare directly in the face and just say, I didn't make him. I offered it to him. <laughs> yeah, he just he just did it. Like uh, I w- we weren't expecting it, but no, yeah, we he weren't. Just did it. <laughs> like, um and yeah, I'm pretty sure a teacher got mad at you because yeah, you're the one that me. brought the plate in. So <laughs> I enabled it basically. Really stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I just enabled dumb things like that. That was just what I did. But I mean it was pretty fucking funny. You can't deny that. Yeah. And then there's those days where it's like, uh, I remember, I don't know if we were cooking this, that uh, one of the, one day uh, where we just like, you just basically walked outside to one of those like concrete circles outside and just like, I think those are like, also videos on spinning. the YouTube. Yeah. Account. I'm pretty sure we have them on, on the channel pull up, as well. I'm going to quickly pull up Dane kitchen adventures. Again. <laughs> Cause there's a lot, even recently I uploaded a video and it has or a short now and it has five K views. Cause like most of the videos on Dane kitchen adventures are just shorts from my Snapchat memories. End of the day. That's all they are. It's just a bunch of really, really dumb YouTube shorts all about like, random things that we did in foods um what was it uh yeah fruit ninja but it's bread like that video was after we made dank kitchen adventures i was probably like grade 11 grade 12 because i was tiktok and it was just me slicing bread because that was the only thing the school could afford to allow us to make was just bread. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Pretty funny though. Yeah. There's so many other ones as well though. Like I remember as well. It was really dumb when it was like summer after foods cuz we had like a break after foods. And uh Oh my god, I think I accidentally uploaded the Flute Ninja video twice. One one time it has 400 views, the other time it has 5,000. <laughs> oh man, that's that's you. You did that except with um, uh, when uh, Carter or Farmer Guy was honking the horn. <laughs> you, you one of them has twice. way more views than the other. Yeah, it's dumb but <laughs> it happened it's great what do you mean uh yeah it's dumb there's like if you go through most of our shorts though like everything that happened at school basically just happened in foods class pretty much there's a video of me eating dough a video of me trying to become a water fountain uh me just tea posing in a concrete pad that was used for shot put um yep what else is here uh i don't know those are the few that i've found right away a lot of the videos i think are just lost to time now sadly yeah. or you have them right and you have a lot yeah, of videos, sh- but it's a matter sh- of, like, sitting down and going through them all. Yeah, I should probably do that one of these days. <laughs> the way I did it is I just sat down, because I was trying to uh, clear out things in my, like, folders. So what I did is I just sat down and everything would auto-upload to my computer. I'd watch the video. It was, like, three seconds long. I'd be like, I don't want that. I deleted it. I want to upload that. I kept it. I want to delete that. I deleted it. And I just kept doing that. And yeah, it just ended up being some really dumb things. But I mean, whatever. Yeah. Oh, I Some of our videos as well are just so cursed. Yeah, the first oh, I... video on this account is of the pizza pop. And the second one is me chasing after a bird. Or some bullshit. 
There's so many dumb videos here. There's a 16 minute video called How to Make Pepperoni Part 3. And it's like me at four in the morning changing pepperoni around on a Traeger. That one's, that one's pretty good. So many of our videos that, are just that has, like- That's actually cooking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so many of our videos on this account until very recently, like a week ago, uh, I have no effort in them. Like every single video, every single short, every single, like everything has no effort in them. I've started to put effort into the live streams again, starting like a week ago, week and a half ago now, where I just like make a thumbnail and I have proper music again. But like that shit's easy. I can throw together a thumbnail in like 30 minutes not even depending on what it is like the fucking rounds thumbnail i made in i think like three minutes because i really needed to go shit <laughs> i was like i need to just throw something together and schedule wow. this stream wow. i need to get this up i need to get it up so i made it i scheduled the stream for an hour ahead with the thumbnail went took a shit for half an hour and then came back down because like i think i ate ramen that day and i had the ramen shit so it was <laughs> so fucking yeah that would, that would do it <laughs> uh yeah so let's move on from fucking the dank kitchen adventures name do you have any like fond high school memories or fond like just school memories Anything uh, you can think of? Well, I think, uh, think there was one, <laughs> yeah, there's one where it's, uh, it was like, uh, grade 12 in March and it was a Friday and we were leaving English class and the teacher is like, so far there's no news about like, this was like when COVID and shit started happening right mm. and so uh we get like told that like so far there's no information about the school being closed so you still have to come in next week well that sunday literally two days later everyone gets an email saying that school has been shut down like indefinitely yeah that <laughs> so... indefinitely was four years yeah and yeah it's it's been very uh I don't know downhill <laughs> yeah. from there i don't know i just remember that's like huh that's ironic because we all thought it was an um, extended like easter break basically yeah i think so because then... no i think what it was was easter break happened that week i swear to god like we either were coming out of an easter break or going into one and then it happened Ooh, maybe i i i because it happened like happened. right around then yeah i know I there was I, a I, bunch yeah, of memes back on like the discord and all that where it was fucking just me being like if anyone's gonna get covid it's gonna be me and then in the discord we made a bunch of rules like yo i just want covid19 to flex on the world and yeah dumb things like um that. <laughs> now i've remember... had it like three times and it's just a. Uh, I want this to be that... over. Yeah. <laughs> that's so so stupid. Remember that uh that fish tank in the den? Yeah little was... orange fucker. Little orange fucker. Oh man. And then that one fish that like stayed vertical <laughs> the whole time. He never moved. I'm pretty sure he was dead. Like he was just in the in there. Do you remember why little orange fucker got his name? Yeah, because I took a picture of a fish, and then he photobombed. He's at the like the bottom corner. You could just see his little tiny head, and that's where it's like, yeah, he's a little orange fucker. I cropped him. He was I didn't more crop him out than anyone I, else. Yeah, there. you didn't I, crop him out. No, you cropped everything else out but him. Yeah, it was just him. <laughs> it was oh, great. Man. It was great. Yeah, I remember yeah, like good. grade twelve was interesting because grade twelve was a lot of like just us not giving a fuck about anything and doing whatever we felt like yeah like the amount of times yeah. i was yelled at from hanging from the ceiling or like playing a lawnmower game in the back of the class or like just dumb you things made, like uh, that you brought 
uh, pancakes to school before Christmas break. That was fire. That was that was pretty funny. That was pretty great. It's still talked about to this day in that school. Oh, yeah, it's it's funny. It's great. Um, I think we should get we should either go back in and like give everyone in like McLaughlin's English class a pancake first thing in the morning or like give your sister or my sister like an induction heater or a waffle maker or something and just a bunch (laughs) of like pancake batter yeah (laughs) just be like hey if you want a pancake subscribe to dink kitchen adventures (laughs) (laughs) right yeah because last time it was the t-series pewdiepie war so if you wanted a pancake you had to subscribe to pewdiepie yeah, you to, if you were, or, yeah, you had to, oh, man, that was awesome. And then there was that, that guy, oh, who was it, was it Cal? It was that Cal, chugged. who showed up with, like, expired maple syrup. Yeah, expired syrup, <laughs> and just chugged it. It's like, okay. I didn't uh, leave that class that day. It was so stupid. Yeah, I mean, it was the last day before Christmas break. Nothing's gonna get done. Like, absolutely nothing. Uh, I, I don't blame so many classes. like a lot of people didn't just just didn't show up that day i'm pretty sure probably it's because nothing was gonna happen that well day. when you go to a small town school that only has 200 people like eh, <laughs> it's that's just yeah, the way exactly. it is everyone already has their life planned out from the time they like and enter. then You're not yeah gonna it's just anything. yeah and yeah teachers don't care because it's like yeah i'm just like i'm supposed to be here i don't have anything to teach right now because well i mean yeah, it's the last day before Christmas yeah. break. What are you... Like, like yeah. Um, I think I should... You know what? I'm going to say some of my favorite moments. Because, like, we've been through some of yours. There's two that are standing out to me that I'd like to mention. So the first one, by far, one of, like, my dumbest memories that I love about high school. Is you didn't show up to foods one day. Right? Or you were showing oh. up, like, 10, 20 minutes late. And yep. so... I was in class with Pierce and I look over at Pierce and I say, Hey, we're going to go pick up Donnie. And this is right after lunch. So you were probably like still going to be at home or whatever. And I knew your mom was asleep. We walk over to your, we ditch school. Walk. I don't know how we got out of the classroom first off without the teacher noticing us. I'm sure it was a sub. We had a sub. No, maybe, but either way, I still ditched class. I said, like, I did it so many times. Like, I'm just going to go find Donnie. And then I'd ditch class and run around the school for an hour trying to find you. But, like, I ditched class with Pierce this time. Left the school. Walked all the way over to uh, your house. Broke into your house. Snuck around your house and Uh went into your room. Yeah. Realized you weren't home. And then came back to school really confused, realizing you were, we walked past you and you were in class by the time we were in your room. I remember, I remember getting snaps from you. You're like, Pierce is sitting in my chair and you're just in my room, just like, and I'm just sitting in (laughs) class, like in the foods room. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, they're in my room right now. What the hell? (laughs) How did we pass each other? So what I think must have happened uh, is like, while you guys were going down one staircase, I was going up the other. Has and then that's to be. How we, it's the like, only possible that, way. It's that just that timing. Or like we went out a timing. separate stair, or we went out a separate door, or like just something stupid. Yeah, because I only lived a block away, so we would have seen each other on, like if we. Yeah. Yeah. Some of my other favorite moments, though, um, and I guess the podcast is the best place to bring this up, and a podcast with you, because you were always in, like, all the high school classes. Uh, my sister's favorite moment from my high school escapades was another time in foods. I was trying to hunt you down, and I was walking around in, like, full raptor, like, long legs, crawling around. I don't even know what was going on. And I jump down the stairs and there's a study area that was added to these stairs by the library underneath it. And there was just this random kid in like grade seven or eight or something there. 
and like the kid looks at me says what are you doing i don't have a thought in my brain and i don't know what i'm doing myself because i'm just being stupid so i look at them directly in their eyes and just say i'm whale hunting (laughs) all i was doing was looking for you and so cue 10 minutes later uh i think we're both back in the room or cue that night my sister like walks up to me and is like doug what the fuck were you doing today i got like four different messages from like four different people about you running around the school whale hunting and like uh, just being a (laughs) dumbass what are you doing and i just look at her and i'm like yeah it was whale hunting by that point i just full committed to whale hunting it's not even that i said to the chick in this exact way i'm whale hunting like yeah in like crab like formation like what am what are you doing it was so dumb Uh, but i remember uh skipping a social studies test in grade 12 um, because uh, we had a spare or at least I had a spare before social studies so I just went home because I lived a block away yeah I, so I just went home and I was pretty tired so I just like set a I don't I, I can't remember how long classes were back then uh like mm, an hour. A block was 90 minutes. 90 minutes hour and a half or something like that i want to say it was 90 minutes was a block and then each yeah. class was 45 minutes so i got home i think i set like a uh 40 minute timer or like maybe i don't know about an hour i don't know uh but anyway i also had this uh my like do not disturb thing on my phone and i don't think timers go off when do not disturb is on alarms go off but i set a timer and i don't think timers go off so i didn't wake up and i just completely skipped social studies that that day um we had a test so yeah that was see you have weak mentality you have weak mentality for me what i would do never studied a day in my fucking life i would show up to class on like the SATs or whatever. It was a class at like eight in the morning, seven in the morning. I could not be awake at that time. So I'd always sleep through my first two classes. And uh, that's why I failed math the one year because math was first thing in the morning and I would always sleep through my first class. But like SATs and PATs or whatever they were and whatever, grade nine, we had a science one. I passed out. It's like a four-hour test. I passed out for three hours. Or, like, maybe it was a three-hour test. I passed out for two hours. The teacher came by and shook me awake and was like, are you going to even do your test? And I looked down, and I look at her, and I just nod half asleep. I don't remember anything about that test. All I remember is the score I got. I remember sleeping through it and then still getting, like, a 76%. Which yeah, is insane so <laughs> for just not knowing anything about what's going on. Yeah, being asleep for like three quarters of the test. <laughs> I, I do that so often though. High school was rough because I just sleep the entire thing. I It wasn't even that I wasn't really getting sleep. Actually, no, no, no. Grade nine, I was still getting sleep. Grade like... 10 and 11 i no longer got sleep because that's when i entered my weeb phase and i'd just watch anime till five in the morning uh, uh, <laughs> um remember uh oh was it physics or chemistry i'm scared i can't remember it was it was one of the two where we were in the back corner next to the teacher's desk mr anderson's desk and we sat on the floor right yeah remember sitting on the floor for like all like for a few weeks which time oh yeah 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 yeah. i do remember this we'd sit beside our desk 
yeah we'd sit beside, i don't know why because it's the floor um but then i think i think it was grade 11 because it was like before christmas this and then we just like music. set it up with christmas lights and everything yeah we made awesome. a fort it was like four chairs yeah, or four, four desks surrounding each other and made a fort. It was, you'd it was think legendary. that we were somewhere on like a spectrum honestly we probably yeah. are I just need to get tested I, for it. I, and I've been meaning yeah. to for a while. <laughs> but like um, it was and then so dumb. I'm pretty sure we had a test at some point. And then me and you, I don't think we did too good on said test. And then the teacher like came up to us one day while we were sitting on the floor. It's and then he's like, Hey guys, just want to let like wanna ask, like, are you like are you taking the, are you taking the uh the information in at all because like and then we know, started sitting I don't, on the chair. i don't think you're paying attention all that much because you're just you're sitting on the floor you can't really see the board at all you can't see the smart board <laughs> all the desks are in the way <laughs> and yeah. then we're like okay we'll sit back in our desks <laughs> yeah yeah we got away with it for so long though that was the funny thing uh, yeah it was I, no it was a hundred percent physics because i remember we sat beside the teacher's desk right but he never everyone else in the class sat on the opposite side like as far away from the teacher's desk as possible we sat oh, beside yeah. the teacher's desk and like i did so many dumb things like sneaking under his desk and crawling around like a gremlin it was um, very cursed but like i just remember he would never sit in his desk. He would always stand in the opposite corner of us. Like, I am not about to deal with these kids. Yeah, we were we were special. Like, that we were class is what solidified me kids. as your high school bully as well. Yeah. That's the that's other thing. You always that I sat think behind me and then slapped for, me. Yeah, for the background of Dank Kitchen Adventures, like, it's me and Donnie, me and this kid we're best friends we've fucking hung out for years now our entire channel is not based around food but based around the fact that we used to do foods class together and fucking we realized this a few years ago probably i think we maybe it was on a stream back on when i did twitch or some other dumb thing but it was like i was literally your high school bully I would just run up behind you, slap you, throw you into a locker, like just do the dumbest possible things. That is stereotypical high school bully behavior. And like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that transition to me taking you out downtown, like Barry, across the country from where you live, getting blackout drunk in a club, and then yep. puking in the backseat yep. of a cab. Like. Yeah, we've and lived then, some very interesting <laughs> lives. And then staying, like I, the day after that, after that day, staying in your aunt's basement, just sitting on the Out couch watching, watching TV all day. We watched like the same show because it yeah. kept looping every like three hours. <laughs> we watched the same broadcast like four times yep. that day. They had, they had like what Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, American Dad, I think some Simpsons. Uh, uh, no Simpsons. It was a lot of Bob's no Burgers. It was it was a few episodes of Bob's Burgers, which I promptly watched uh, the entire show after that trip over the course <laughs> no of like shot, a few you weeks. Actually did. Oh, oh yeah, no, I caught up. I caught up with them. <laughs> Season thirteen. I oh haven't watched an episode God. since because I'm like I have watched so much of this show. Holy shit! I remember literally <laughs> like. I think a day in September, I was actually sick. And then I literally just stayed in my room all day, watching laying in Bob's bed, burgers. watching Bob's Burgers all day. It was such a lazy day. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was, it was, it was certainly a day. <laughs> certainly a lazy a day. day. The it was one of the days, days ever. Uh, I... That is one of the days ever. Actually, oh my god. I I didn't believe that I missed this again. Um, how long into this recording are we? We are 40 minutes into this recording. 
I'm gonna make a clip out of this. You know what? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I should clarify this podcast specifically. The interesting thing about it is, well, it's a podcast where I just interview people I know off the internet, whatever, and we just hang out, have a good time. But all the questions are AI generated. I, I don't think I have mentioned this yet, but like, I am not good at making questions, so I just use chat GPT to generate all the questions. Anyways, side tangent, doesn't matter. I'm not going to make a clip out of that, actually. You know what? That's too much effort. Screw that. Not doing that. Uh, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna talk about something different. So, Donnie, you moved to this town, or Alberta, from Manitoba in, like, grade nine. Yep. What was that transition like? What was the transition of, okay, I'm in a new school, I'm in a new place, I know no one, just, what was that transition like for you? Um... It was definitely weird. I've experienced this before. Uh, the last time it happened to me was in grade two. I literally just like moved to the town over uh, back in like 2009, I think. Um, and then, yeah, in 2016, uh, moved out here from Manitoba. And then, yeah, I, I knew literally no one. Mm -hmm. Um and I remember one of the first, it was like the first, yeah, the first week that I was there, I would sit with my brother, like, I think close to the office to eat lunch. And then I remember Carter, I think Mason and maybe you or Pierce, I think it was, I can't remember who was all there. It would have been Carter then, probably approached you first. Car it was definitely Carter, I remember, because he told me, he's like, hey, um, tomorrow, why don't you hang out with us during lunch? And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, sure, I'll do that. And then my brother was like, I, I, I don't know what he, he was like, I can't remember. Pretty sure he was, I don't know, maybe proud of me. He's like, hey, you're making friends. Good for you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. It wasn't even so, what happened. Yeah. I also remember, I think one of, I think I actually also remember one of the first interactions I had with you. Uh, we were on our way to math class from, I think, English. Remember Miss Baxter's room was upstairs, that yeah, one room? Yeah. Yeah. And then we were going to Miss Doyle's room. Remember that? Like across the hall from uh, the weight room or whatever? I think so. Yeah. yeah we we're going to math class and then on our way you like we're walking and and you approach me and then all you ask is are you new here and then i'm like <laughs> yeah i am thanks for noticing <laughs> and then i don't remember th anything else i probably walked away and, <laughs> and then yeah else. you scurried along <laughs> don't you dare say scurry you <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like yeah are you new here it's like yeah what and then i yeah left. i've haven't been here before <laughs> okay cool and then i'd leave yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah. epitome, epitome a bit of a bit of baby the epitome of just me in general <laughs> shows up <laughs> hey are you new here walks yeah. away and ignores you yeah. for like four months it's, uh, yeah, it's that's actually funny. so funny because I remember specifically this. Um, I, I started streaming when I was like 15, right? So that would have been probably like grade 10, maybe, 11, maybe. Um, and that might have been one of the other reasons we grew close. Because I think like you figured out then I'm like the only fucking gamer in that entire town. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Like... So yeah, you were. I fucking, I started live streaming and I was just fucking around, having fun doing like the worst live streams known to man. Like I can have a good live stream for five hours now and then make it entertaining. Couldn't back then, but fucking, I remember just you showed up in my chat 
And I had a Discord as well. If we were to go to the start of our Discord DMs, it is me ghosting you for yeah. like four months. Se several months. And <laughs> even then, we didn't really start actually talking until probably I got my laptop. Like, I think what happened is we were, we ended up becoming like, hey, I can have a conversation with this guy at school. Cool. That's cool. Whatever. But then it was like, oh, hey, he has a computer now. We can actually just play games together. And then you invited me to Loyal Wraiths. Ugh, Loyal Wraiths. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It... <laughs> Went from there. Yeah. I for <laughs> my first My first DMT was March 28th. March 28th. 2018 and it's hi onion sama yeah because that's what i think i was going by that, no that was my that, instagram handle that yeah that was onion sama was my instagram handle clearly i was in peak weeb phase and if it was onion sama i think it was after i played undertale maybe and then yeah when you finally replied to me it was september 13th 2018 which and is after my birthday and after i got was, my yeah, laptop after you got your laptop so i remember though fair, I wasn't using discord so i do remember you i would reply to him i would reply to the dms on live stream because like I wasn't, I wouldn't reply to them using text, but I think I had the app on my phone. And so I'd like have it open. You'd send a DM and I swear to God, I'd just reply randomly while I was live. I think that's what happened. Yeah, maybe. I also some remember. Some of those look like a conversation if I remember correctly. Where it was like a back and forth, but it was just you DMing me twice. Like once yeah, every Yeah, I also... Uh, it was before you got your laptop. I'm pretty sure you were streaming on your old laptop because you were playing um, uh, shit. What's that? What's that game called? Oh no! There's too many. There's too many. It's that like really. It's that music game. Osu. Osu. You were playing Osu. And. You were being very loud, and I think I remember, like, either your mom or dad was like, quiet down. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were just yelling, like, fuck, I messed fuck, up. I messed up. Fuck. Yeah, that fuck. is and then, very osu. <laughs> and then your mom's just like, you shut quiet the down. fuck you're up. You're being loud. You're being very, vo like, yeah. very verbal right now. <laughs> Uh, I should do another Osu stream. That would be so bad, you, though. You probably shouldn't, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I should do Osu immediately. Yeah, how about you don't? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I just want to play a rhythm game, but, like, rhythm games are difficult. Uh, do you remember... Uh, Let's talk about Loyal Race for a minute, actually. Like... Because that was where I think we spent most of our time interacting, and I mentioned it briefly. Uh, yeah. We're not going to go into detail about anything about Loyal Wraiths, all the bad shit, but, like, <sighs> Loyal so, Wraiths was such a weird experience. You want to talk on it for a second? I I started playing with, uh, like, I started playing with friends, uh, I think, actually, in, like, probably March or April of 2018. Because that's when, um, that's when I was playing Rainbow Six Siege a lot, um, and then some of my friends from Manitoba started getting computers as well. And they started playing with me, and then they're like, "Hey, do you have Discord?" I'm like, "Yeah, I have Discord." And they're like, "Sweet, we have this server that one of our friends' brothers made. You should join it." I'm like, "All right." So I joined it, and it was the loyal rates at the time. And literally, it was it was just like uh, six of us or seven of us in this server at the time, because it was literally just 
these like four or five friends that are playing some games together that uh and then later in the year it started growing and growing and growing and then like yeah when i invited you there's a whole bunch of other people at that time but yeah no that i remember i don't i wasn't there at the very start of that server but i was there you were when there, there was early. like seven people in that server so. i was there early enough now that i'm thinking about it i definitely used discord way before that way before loyal rates was like a big thing and when i joined it i think i had a few discord ser- i would have had to have had a few discord servers before then because i was already familiar with managing discord servers and doing all that stuff yeah which is weird i don't know i don't know that's strange that's weird uh, yeah. and then long yeah. story short um just that discord server basically became like a dictatorship where it's like yeah if you know someone became, in the server you can join it became a stereotypical discord server like you know all those very shitty memes about discord servers where it's like oh discord's filled with pedophiles or oh discord's filled with uh, this yeah. or that that's what that server ended up becoming basically. for better or worse which is why i think like the owner stopped using it right yeah and uh, then like there was a few of us who used it but we were all mentally challenged um yep and now that i'm thinking about it there's only one person i still talk to from that server and that is tater and i don't know why i still talk to tater tater's good tater. shit sometimes though oh yeah 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 sometimes he, sometimes. he, he can be fun but then again it, it's also just Hitting a mess with Tater, you never, you never know what he's gonna. You never know do what Tater's gonna say. do, say, <laughs> or like when he's going to do it or say it. I, yeah. I will be the first to admit, I miss all the amount of dumb shit we have done with Tater. I wish Tater was like there more often or whatever, but at the same time, yeah. I wish he knew limits sometimes, but I mean whatever like when it's me fun and tater, talking like, to him when he's online but past that when, I, i'm fine when me and tater played siege just us two it was so chaotic like our team hated us because we do so much stupid shit and like uh yeah i i, I do also miss that like also playing gta with them back in the day yeah. was also fun um uh, but GTA is just hacker central yeah <laughs> and then uh i think minecraft was a bit later because that's when minecraft was all me minecraft was always yeah. me because yeah. i bought you your minecraft account i remember that i um... gave you ten dollars I, I think you may either gave <laughs> me more or it was like a birthday present no, I don't know. No, I was not ten dollars. I would have not been scammed. No, I I remember you give. I remember giving you a ten dollar bill, and I'm like, I don't know. This is all I have right now. So here you go. Thanks for buying Minecraft for me. <laughs> uh, Minecraft still being my most played game. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I just I miss playing siege with tater i have played it with him uh i think back in like october maybe maybe a lot November. of the time it's just not the same anymore though you know yeah like the, like, ga- the I game's miss... changed um, i miss a lot i like i miss a lot about a lot of different people and a lot of different games and i miss like i miss the way uh we used to play a lot of different games. I miss a lot of the people I used to play games with. I miss, like, some of the ways I used to stream. And, like, I miss... Like, I wish so desperately that when I had the, like, full rebrand of streaming and I was... Like, I had overlays. I had custom artwork that I made. Like, I did all that. I wish I just continued streaming then. Because... If you look yeah. at my Twitch stats, 
I was getting an average of five back then, and I was only streaming once every other month. But yep. it became a point where <laughs> I didn't want to learn video editing. I know how to video edit now, and I know how to do all that now, but like I didn't want to do it then, and I didn't want to stream to Twitch and, and just anymore at all, because I don't really like Twitch as a platform to create content on. I much more prefer doing it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a lot more cursed, but funnier. It is funnier, but it is easier to do. It is... I don't think we would have actually... I don't think I would have been in the position I am right now with streaming and like wanting to do it and making content on YouTube if we didn't discover that we could stream at the exact same time. On YouTube, that's it's so cursed, but it's fu like it's great. I remember, I remember uh, Rax first. Uh, first uh, like, seeing, He's like, "What do you mean?" Us, <laughs> see, like he just sees two. Like, I think we were both in a call, and he jo like on, on one he of the servers. joined. He joined, and then it's like, "Yeah, join my stream. You'll see." I think he joined my stream i don't know if we were playing the same game or not we were but we were both it was we a minecraft streaming. stream and then brad Brack is like what do you you're not streaming donnie's streaming i'm like no uh, check again doug is also streaming rack's like what you can do that <laughs> you can stream <laughs> it doesn't feel like you should be like, able to two time like what <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> it was so funny Mm -hmm. i don't know i find it interesting how if you were to go back and look at dank kitchen adventures and the live you know this is one of the things that i'm loving about youtube streaming you can kind of see where we started five months ago where it was building a computer right and then it was you yeah. driving a truck a sleep stream driving a truck again driving a truck some grand theft auto shit driving a truck more grand theft auto Watching and then dry. like me combine or multi-streaming grand theft auto and the test stream and then wa <laughs> watching paint dry and grass grow which are just png youtube videos that are 10 hours long that yeah. we watch those aren't our pngs which makes it even better oh um then there is Wait. more driving and you can start seeing where I started like making proper thumbnails with some of the like quote unquote ASMR videos where there's like a line in it and then like more random dumb things and me not really trying to stream and whatever. And then like it gets to a point where I just said you know what i am going to my descent into mad madness descenders that one's a good one where i just threw random memes on the screen then yeah. it started with forever smp where now there's a red dot yep. to show the live on every single one of my live streams yep i just do a very like you can tell which stream it is tell because which of stream the thumbnail is which. And the title. <laughs> yeah. Well, if not you even see thumbnail a raccoon, anymore. Well, if yeah, you see actually, a raccoon raccoon. in the corner, if you see face can't, it's you. And you know it's mine. <laughs> yeah. Also, if it's a very simple title, like game stream, sleep stream, smiley face, uh, Minecraft stream, Lego The Office build. Like, it's just very simple. To the uh, point. Straightforward. Very simple. <laughs> streams yeah and then it gets more and more now in the last week i have been able to create a thumbnail like very quickly and i know yeah. how to do things very quickly easily and just do things in a very convenient way um that i'm just gonna do it right i'm just gonna throw things together and I did a few extra thumbnails from before I started doing thumbnails. I think the first stream that I had a thumbnail on was the 
the God of All Lemurian stream for Risk of Rain 2, which was a super modded stream. And then every bo stream before that that has a thumbnail now is something I just made quickly uh, just because... Or no, the first one that would have had... No, the first one that had a thumbnail was that one, and then later that day I did the other thing. But yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Now I have like a random GIF intro screen, whatever. But I don't know. I am enjoying making content again. I have a entire fun. document. It is fun. Like it is really fun to actually sit down and do it. Um, it's weird right now because i'm still trying to get the hang of what type of video i want to make exactly which is why i'm doing podcast because i can make a hour-long podcast or whatever and then clip it down into six clips and upload those six clips over the course of a week or one clip every other day or whatever in the past week i've done one clip every day now some clips get 82 views some clips get eight whatever but all that matters is, okay, so now I'm going to watch a 13-minute segment of this one conversation compared to a hour-and-a-half-long conversation about five yeah. different <laughs> subjects. A so, lot, yeah, different subjects. I feel like um, this video or this specific podcast that we did today probably won't be clipped into too many like videos because... It's going to be difficult. I have an idea for a live stream where I'm going to do another editing live stream, but the editing live stream is going to be me sitting there talking about the live or the podcast, basically. And like afterthoughts, like, do I, could I have rephrased this better? Could I have said this better here? Like, what should I have said? What could I have, could I have done? Yeah. Things like that. So. That one's going to be interesting, but that's just me sitting there for an hour listening to myself talk and hang out. I still want to figure out how we're going to do some shorts. I feel like shorts are going to be something that we need to start doing a bit more, but eh, whatever. Who cares? I like I like this, like, random shit that we have. <laughs> like It's great, and <laughs> I'd love to do more, but, like... I it, no yeah. longer have any more Snapchat memories. Yeah, I gotta. I, can I, I I need to go through mine. I should just. We have do it one day. enough for. We have videos and shorts all the way up until the eighth. We have daily shorts until the eighth. Um, the final daily short we have is the BTS McDonald's meal. So. I don't think any of the shorts that are currently that going to be uploaded are cursed. going to be good or going to go anywhere as good as some of the other ones that have been uploaded. Like the 1.8K Death of Scuba Steve, 2K Calgary Tower, um, 3K Washroom in Hell, Guy Gets Burger from Top Floor, like things like that. I don't think there's going to be another one of those in the videos that I have uploaded, but you never know. We should record a bread three. You probably have a bread three in your video. You could you record mean? a bread three if you want to. No, we, we... You could do it literally tomorrow. You want to go to Popeye's. <laughs> Not... What? You said you want to go to Popeye's tomorrow. Yeah. Um, you could record no, a bread three. Bre Just walk in, wake me up by throwing bread at me. No, no, no. It has to be in Cole's apartment, see? That's the trend. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my god. The dumbest thing is bread two happened before bread one. It's it's funny that way. Uh but like <laughs> next time like I would do you are you planning on like because you still have a bunch of stuff out in Ontario still, right? Mm hmm My dad's going to go out and pick up some things soon, but, eh. Okay. Because I was saying, like, if you wanted to take, like, I don't know if you'd want to spend a whole week, like, a week out there. I don't think I can for the next few months because uh, at work we're pretty, 
uh, no. short. We should definitely do another trip sometime guys. soon. But I um, don't think I'm going to go on another big trip until the summer. Because this summer I want to do a few big trips. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. I, I'm i just like, I could go like maybe uh, if we leave like on a Friday to go out there. Like to Ontario, we go to spin. Ottawa, which would be even more cursed because well, like Cole isn't in Toronto. Yeah. I know, yeah. How long is he in? Uh, I think uh, it was, Ottawa for uh, the winter semester, so like six months, so like till summer or fall. Jeez. Summer, summer, summer. Yeah, uh, summer. Yeah. Well, yeah, Ottawa's also just like so far out of the out of the like it's 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 kind of far from where yeah, like Ottawa would be a place I'd love to take you, but I don't think we will. No, I want to go to um I really want to go to Louisiana, hang out with Cal for a bit. I want to oh, yeah. do some dumb shit in St. Louis with Nemo and everyone, but I don't think that's going to happen. There's a bunch of I places hope, I want to go. Yeah, I hope Cow, like, one, at some point takes a vacation up here. That'd be he fucking legend. He has to. You... He has RAM for his laptop that you've been saying you'll install for a year I now. know. And that, yeah. Um, do you think, I don't, I don't know if, like. It bothers me that he hasn't done anything with Barn it. Dance. What if he comes out for Barn Dance? <laughs> Legendary. That Legendary. would be awesome. Yeah. That would be amazing. I would love that so much if he did that. Yeah, fuck. All right, well, we should probably think about wrapping up this podcast. It's been an hour, and we can just start yeah. rambling about anything, you know. Um, this is kind of, This podcast specifically is basically the background of who we are i think we should i'm gonna set this podcast when it's out and uploaded as our uh channel description or whatever like the channel preview you know because yeah. it is just me and you and some of our fucking dumb high school memories and shit like mm -hmm. that and we are the only people who run this fucking account so anyway. exactly yeah i you want to know the one thing I hate about this account? I, like, what? want to upload so much, but none of the shit's consistent. So, like, <laughs> if we get a subscriber for something because they really like one video, the next video will not have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah. No, if... We we should definitely put in the about, like, if you like... No, the uh, about is, if you like chaos, this uh, is the correct yeah. spot chaos yeah that basically sums uh, it up right there. we don't really talk <laughs> uh we both have access to this account we don't talk to each other about what we upload or when we upload it so the channel's very chaotic at times chaos is what we are known for though and if that's the type of content you're looking for you're in the right place because let's be real yeah. that is yeah. exactly what we are that yeah that's sums it up pretty well <laughs> so mm -hmm. well that was this podcast. I enjoyed hanging out with you for a bit, Donnie. I think you are going yep. to go hang out with your brother. I'm going to go yep. see if some people are online and harass them for a bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream tonight. Actually, I shouldn't even say that on the podcast. It makes no sense. If you see this, I should be live. Um, yeah. I need to edit this podcast tonight, probably. Yeah. I don't think we said any bad words, though. I'm debating between just throwing the podcast in and uploading it, like, right after this is done. Because it needs to come out tomorrow. The podcast comes out Sunday. We're recording this Saturday. I've been trying to get you to record this podcast for, like, a week and a half. Two weeks. Uh, I Yeah, but, I've been busy. It's also the reason why I haven't streamed it, like... A while. Oh, when was when was my last stream? Sorry, I'm going. Like, it's not even that. It's your last stream was a, a month stream. ago. <laughs> um, the other thing is like <sighs> us streaming, or like for you to stream, it 
takes a lot of effort for you, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we should I'm... stop rambling. We can keep rambling forever. Let's actually yeah. just end this. Have any closing remarks on our uh, channel? On your own channel? You want to say anything? It Yeah, it's chaos. Yeah, Welcome. Yeah. How about here? No, you know, you know what? This is, do you want to know what I have to say?